Hi, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Baker with the Wild Foot and Ankle Institute. And I'm here to speak to you today about soccer and the Olympics. And there's a lot of different soccer competitions that are going on now. And for the novice soccer enthusiast, uh, it's kind of hard to kind of determine what all these tournaments mean. Uh, as a former soccer player uh, in college and a current soccer player here in Chicago, um, I wanted to talk to you today about how the Olympics and soccer go together. So on two ends of it, one, you have the, the men's and then the women's in terms of tournaments within the Olympics. The difference being the women's tournament is actually a tournament where all the teams can have anybody participating in the tournament. So it's kind of an open tournament in terms of the players that can be there. The men's tournament for the Olympics is actually a 23 and under tournament. So each team, all the players on the team are 23 or under, except, that's where you add in the other thing, each country that's participating in the Olympics is allowed three players over the age of 23 that can play in the Olympics. They all can be professional players, so it doesn't have to just be amateur players. So on the women's end, there's no restrictions in terms of the players that can play in the tournament. On the men's side, uh, each country is allowed uh, players that are 23 and under, and then three extra players that are over 23. In both of these cases, there's been qualifying tournaments to get into the Olympics. Uh, and on the United States aspect of it, the women's team did qualify for the Olympics and will be playing in Tokyo. The men's team did not qualify, so that's why you will not see a United States men's team uh, in the Tokyo Olympics in the soccer competition. Thank you very much and hope you're having a good day.